Yeah, I'll preface this by saying I think he's going to be the most popular pitcher by a considerable margin. Um, but I am a basic, as the kids say, <laughs> so I will definitely have some exposure to Shohei Otani. I mean, this is the perfect storm when it comes to ownership, though. We're talking about a guy who is coming off a dominant start against the Boston Red Sox. Otani, for whatever reason, is always disrespected by the algorithm when he's a pitcher. Uh, he comes into this game with a 1.52 FIP and a 38% strikeout rate, and he's less than 9K. That is absolutely insane. So he's too cheap, he's on a hot streak, and the team he's facing got no hit last night. So, again, Otani's going to be the chalk of all chalk. So maybe this would be a time to, like, pivot to even Shane McClanahan, who's been just as good so far this season, but people are now a little bit afraid of this Los Angeles Angels lineup. Um, so I would have exposure to both, but I just don't see how you avoid Otani completely, even knowing his ownership is going to be 50 or 60% tonight. All right, there are seven games on the main slate, Fryer. Who is your pitcher? $8,500 or more. Looks like you have about six dudes to choose from. Six dudes to choose from, and Garyan's talking about how chalky this play is going to be. I'm with him on Shohei Otani. I mean, you look at the, at the Rays, they have the fifth highest strikeout rate against right-handed pitching, never mind what happened last night um, against the lefty. But Otani's got a 17.5 swing and strike rate. He's getting guys to swing out of the zone quite a bit, and they're swinging and missing on those pitches quite often, too, in his fifth, that 1.52. I love the way he's been looking. If you're looking for another option, I know Gary mentioned Shane McClanahan. I'm not as high on him tonight um, going up against the Angels on the other side of this, is regardless of what happened last night. Um, but I do like Miles McCullis going up against – uh, the, the Orioles, as much as they had a solid showing, and I know Cedric Mullins has been tough, but this guy's shoved to the better part of the season after that uh, you know, awful opening day or uh, first start of the season for him. Uh, but I, I think Otani is definitely the way to go tonight. But if you want someone else on that high price range, McCullis is my guy.